full berth non-toilet shower. When you open the sliding door on the driver's side, you will find your fresh water inlet. Connect your fresh water hose to a tap. The adapter comes in two parts and is easily unscrewed depending on which tap size you are using. Place hose in water inlet and turn tap on slowly to avoid any blowback which can cause an airlock in your water line. Once water starts to flow out of the inlet, the water tank is full. Refill fresh water every day if needed. Next to it is your 12 volt battery monitor. This will show the state of your house battery. Your wastewater tank is located on the driver's side also. You can see the wastewater tank pipe and shut off valve connected to the tank. Attach your wastewater hose to the pipe and open the valve making sure the handle runs in line with the pipe. Empty tank every day at an authorised dump station. To close, pull the lever back. Your 240 volt inlet is located to the rear of the vehicle. The power cord provided is a 15 amp power lead which can only be used in caravan parks. When plugging your lead into the socket, make sure the holes in the lead line up with the pins. Whilst placing it on the pins, give it a slight jiggle and push it in slowly. This will ensure you don't push the pins in. We recommend that you plug into a powered side at least every 48 hours overnight to give your auxiliary battery a good charge. The LPG gas bottle compartment is on the driver's side. Unlock the door with the silver key on your key ring. Turn on the gas bottle anti-clockwise fully, then a half a turn back. The gas safety valve needs to be primed by depressing it three times for the gas to flow. The needle needs to be in the green zone. After use, turn the gas bottle off and lock the compartment. When you open the rear door, you will find your 240 volt power lead, a fresh water hose, a waste water hose, a bucket with clothesline, pegs and a dustpan. On the passenger side of the vehicle, you will find your fuel tank. Please make sure that you put the correct fuel in your vehicle. Check the stick on the door flap and make sure that you have the correct fuel bowser. Some of our fleet run off unleaded petrol and some run off diesel. Always double check and if in doubt, call the number on the back of your key tag. When you open the sliding door on the passenger side, you will find your fire extinguisher and tool and jack for changing tyre. The spare tyre is located under the rear of the vehicle. The tyre pressure must be 50 psi. Inside the vehicle you will find your 12 volt isolation switch. Make sure this switch is turned on at all times so you can use your fridge, lights and water pump. Above this is your 240 volt isolation trip switch. Make sure they are on in the up position at all times. On the sideboard you will find your 12 volt control panel. Turn on the fridge, lights and water pump if you wish to use them. Leave the fridge switch on at all times and turn off the lights and water pump if not needed. Next to it, where fitted, is your USB and 12 volt ports, which are operated by your auxiliary battery. The 240 volt power sockets only work when the vehicle is plugged into the 240 volt powered side. After using the sink, make sure you put the sink plug in when driving to avoid any unpleasant odour coming from the waste tank. You can also purchase deodorizer blocks from your local host. Your microwave is only operational when you are plugged into the 240 volt powered site. The fridge runs off the auxiliary battery. To open, pull the centre handle up gently and pull the side of the door. The on off dial is located here. Turn the fridge on and set the desired temperature. When going to sleep, turn the fridge down to a low setting for a good night's sleep. Make sure you do not overfill the fridge. To close the fridge, push it firmly until you hear a click. To turn on your stove, make sure your gas bottle is turned on. Depress and turn the dial to the full position whilst holding in push the ignite button. The flame will appear. Keep the dial depressed for at least three seconds for the flame to stay alight. Then you can adjust the flame. When finished cooking, turn off the flame and make sure the burners had time to cool before closing the lid. If the ignition button should fail, matches have been provided. In the top drawer, you'll find your pots and pans. Below is a drawer with the crockery. In the cupboard next to the fridge is your electrical appliances. Above the fridge is your cutlery drawer. Before driving off, make sure your locks are engaged. To release the leg on the inside table, push the black lever in the up position as per the arrow shown on the side. Then pull the lever above downwards to release the table slowly. Make sure the table is stowed before driving off. 
If passengers are seated in the rear seat, the bench seat boards must be in the up position. To make the rear bed, both boards need to be in the down position. To put the rear bed down, release both silver padlocks at the same time and slowly bring the bed down. When putting the bed back up, make sure you push it in firmly. You must hear both locks clicking as shown at the decal next to the paddle locks. To use a top bed, unlock both locks either side. On the top bed is where your bedding is stored. To pull out the bed, grab the strap and slowly pull the bed towards you. To access the bed, use the side step provided next to the bench top. Before driving off, push the top bed back in and if used, also secure the rear bed. On the right side of your steering wheel is your bonnet and fuel flap lever. The left one is your bonnet lever and the right one is your fuel flap lever. To open, pull both levers towards you. Just below the badge under the bonnet is the bonnet latch. Lift the latch upwards to release the bonnet. Secure the bonnet stay to keep the bonnet open. Under the bonnet you will find your wiper water reservoir, your coolant reservoir, Make sure you do not overfill this reservoir. The fill marker is on the right side of the bottle. This is your brake fluid reservoir. To access the engine bay under the passenger seat, lift up the flap and release the clip. Then push the yellow lever toward the driver's seat. You will hear a click. Next, bring the passenger seat forward. Lift the seat and secure it with the strap on the side of the passenger pillar. This is where you'll find your dipstick to check the engine oil. Do not overfill the oil. If overfilled, an engine management light on the dash may appear. The handbrake is situated under the gear shift. To release the handbrake, there is a button behind the handle on the right side. The button needs to be depressed and at the same time, pull the lever back and twist the handbrake in a forward motion. To engage the handbrake, pull it back towards you. This vehicle has an automatic transmission. Your gears are park, reverse, drive and neutral. When you put the gear in reverse, a reverse camera will appear on the rear vision mirror. At all times, have somebody guiding you when you reverse. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you will find your windscreen wipers. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, you will find your indicators and headlights. Nighttime driving is not recommended. Your vehicle is fitted with an in-vehicle tablet. The functions will be explained to you by your local host. On the windscreen, there's a decal indicating the maximum speed allowed to drive this vehicle and vehicle tracking information for your safety. Another windscreen decal is showing your vehicle height. In your glove box, there is a first aid kit. Please note if you open it, you have bought it. In the passenger side door pocket, you will find a quick reference guide explaining everything you need to know about the vehicle again. On your key tag, you will find the vehicle details and on the back of the tag, you will find a phone number. This number is your 24 hour roadside assist. If you're experiencing any issues, whether it's mechanical or house related, please feel free to call this number. We wish you an unforgettable holiday experience.